So I wanted to try out this Preline Gray TPU 3D printer filament. It's interesting stuff. It's really soft and flexible, and you think that would make it easy to print with, but guess again. Okay, so let's check out this Preline TPU gray 3D printer filament. Again, it's always well packaged. And let's look at the temperatures here. You got a range of 190 to 230 degrees centigrade for the hot end and 50 degrees to 80 degrees centigrade on the hot bed. Like I said, this material is soft and remarkably flexible, and we see here up close, it's also real smooth. So again, like some of the other materials I've been working with, I would not recommend this with the Bowden tube, just because it's so flexible. I just, in my mind, I think it would just get gummed up in this Ender 3. So we're going to go with our old Prusa i3 clone. I just got through printing these cards with the Preline Rosewood PLA at a temperature of 200 on the hot end and 50 on the heat bed. So I thought I would be able to do this exact same thing with this Preline Gray TPU at 250. Let's see how that works out. So it gets off to a pretty good start. You can see the skirt prints out and we start to get the outline of the business cards, but I could see that I really needed to level the bed. Even though I just printed with a different material, I'm not getting good adhesion on the right hand side of the bed. So we're going to scrap it and start over. So I leveled the bed and I did manage to print a single one of the shotokutech.com business cards at that 250 combination. You can see how flexible the material is. It's really very strong and it adheres to that uh, Gizmo Dorks PEI sheet that I use on my heat bed as well. So you get this nice shiny surface on the back. It adheres really well to that. But that was the only one I was able to do at 200 degrees. So I started going hotter and you see here I went really hot and you start to get this really goopy look. And again here, I think that was 220 and this was 240. The biggest problem I kept encountering was either I wouldn't get adhesion or worse than that, the material would actually kink up in the extruder, which come to find out means I needed to print at a higher temperature. So on this Prusa i3, I actually went all the way up to 240, even though the sticker says 230. So let's step through the settings here that worked for me. I learned a few tricks using the Ender 3. We're going to go with the layer height of 0.2, the line width of 0.44, and the initial top and bottom line width of 0.74. Yeah, it's real odd stuff. And I'm also going to push that initial line width to 150. Uh, going to go with two perimeters, four top and bottom layers, and you see here, I'm going to have a printing temperature of 220, but the initial printing temperature is at 240. Build plate initial temperature at 85, and then drop back down to 60. And again, when you're working with a new material or an odd material that you haven't worked with before, slow it down. So I'm going at 30 millimeters per second. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so I'm going to look at some of the pieces I've printed, and these were very successful at that 240 dropping back down to 220 now. These might look like really simple things. I call them napkin rings. You see how soft and flexible this material is, and that's using those settings I just demonstrated. But these napkin rings are really cool for us techie guys with a bunch of cables because you just wrap the cable around your hand and then slide that over it, and that holds it together for you. Same thing here, just wrapping this cord around my hand. 
grab a napkin ring and because they're flexible I've been printing these out of PLA and they're rigid but because these are flexible that makes it just so much better I tried printing some tires mock tires this is just <laughs> and this was three perimeters and four top and bottom layers at 30% you can see it's somewhat flexible but it's still really pretty firm this would be good for like a shock absorber of some sort this was my second try so I went to two perimeters still kept the four top and bottom and still not very flexible now this is just straight up um, two perimeters but only 10% fill here and let's see if we can't uh, get a I was trying to make a mock-up of a tire and you can see this is very soft and flexible you know be really be a really good tire for a model like a RC car or something maybe a robot so I've had some pretty good luck with this uh, pre-line TPU gray I hope that uh, the settings that I tipped you off to there help out and thank you very much please subscribe to Shotoku Tech so little Jimmy can have legs won't you? Thank you very much.